I think things have changed. Two things have changed. One is uh, China now knows that if it achieves growth, it has to achieve it domestically, which means reform, which is not yet undertaken. And it means getting the consumer to spend pots of excess savings, which it is very hesitant to do. China knows that the global order, which you and I grew up with after the fall of the war, this kind of hegemony of the US is now fractured. That we have Russia, China, and a number of unsavory states on one side, we have the Americans, the democratic states on the others. And then we have a whole lot of countries called the Big South, many of whom matter, like Brazil and India, which are kind of using <clears throat> Russian oil, not quite taking Russia's side, but certainly representing a third, a third fragmentation of the world order. And China knows perfectly well that the US will stop uh, China's influence by making sure that the technology gap, which I reckon is around five to 10 years, it will widen to 20. And it will do that by simply interdicting the export from any country, including countries like Holland, uh, which are leaders of the sort of machinery which can be used to design the sort of chips which power your missiles and your G phones at the same time. The dual use means that you can't export friendly technology. It can just be used in two ways. So it can be ammunition or it can be, it, it can be in, your, in your mobile phone, but it's not going to happen either way. So, so, so David, I think it is, this is bad news. So, so David, those, those who talk about optimistically a 6% plus growth rate for China for, for 2023, are they, are they talking out of their hat? Those sectors of the economy that depend on Chinese performance, like mining, for example, basic resources, are we going to see them repriced here as China actually disappoints on the growth targets? I think what will disappoint in China is the way the growth is achieved. Uh, I'm not in the school which says that here is another crisis. China can use infrastructure and thus American, uh, Australian minerals to get its way out of. I think the way that China has to go now is to actually mobilize its own masses to spend their money, trust the government, and not accumulate excess savings. So it'll all happen in travel and, and, and in shops, if you like, and in restaurants, and much less in the heavy duty stuff which we are wont to see as the motor of the world economy because it is the motor of the Chinese economy. I think that model is, uh, is dead as a duck, dead as a duck. Uh, 